We are Chris and Ken. We recently returned from a four months journey exploring Central America filled with incredible experiences. We are now traveling around the Balkans, excited to discover and learn more about this historic region in southeastern Europe. We're gonna leave Split now and drive mm -hmm. south towards um, Stun. Stun, which yeah. is about 70, 70 kilometers from Dubrovnik. Yeah. And in order to get to the southernmost part of Dalmatia, we need to cross through the Bosnian Herzegovin uh, corridor, the Neom corridor. Um, we read on um, on the Bosnian authority page um, that as long as you are just in transit for no longer than one hour and you don't leave your car while driving across the corridor you don't need a PCR test and don't leave the freeway mm, yeah we have to stay on the freeway just go through um, so it's gonna be interesting to see if that is correct because technically speaking we would have to have a, a transit yeah. visa and a PCR test yeah. But yeah, that's going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. We have one kilometer to the border. Yep. And you have butterflies in your stomach? Oh, yes. <laughs> through the border. He didn't say anything. I mean, I had expected them to say something like, you have to go straight through. <laughs> <laughs> we are officially in Bosnia Herzegovina. 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 Da. Da. <laughs> Awesome! Noim! Noim! Actually, we are a bit surprised because we thought that this new corridor just was a freeway through Bosnia yeah. with no exits oh sorry <laughs> no exits or no places to stop or anything but uh, it's not yeah, it's like a highway through towns and... with supermarkets and small hotels and sorry road is a bit bumpy Surprise, surprise! Hello! Hello! Thank you! Thank you! Yeah. That's kind of fun. <laughs> Two countries in 20 minutes.
We've arrived in Ston. 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 Yeah, and uh, arrived here at our studio apartment, and we can actually see the reason why we are here in Ston. Yeah, we're gonna show you in just a little bit. But, but first, come with me. This is our studio here in Ston. Welcome to. Uh, our kitchen on the ground floor. It's very nice. And also on the ground floor, we're having a small toilet. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. And then up here. <laughs> All right. Big bathroom. Cozy. And actually, in this house, we have a second floor, which is for the children we don't uh, have with us. Two single beds. Nice. But uh, we're not done with the adventures for today. So uh, let's go. Let's go. Welcome to the Great Wall of China. <laughs> oh no, it's the Great Wall of Europe. At least they call it that. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh, why we came to Stone. Because of that. Yeah. Originally it was, I think, around seven kilometers. Uh, lost today? Four. No, it, there's only like five and a half kilometers yeah. left because some of it was demolished. Mm -hmm. but, uh, entry price was 70 kuna per person. There are two routes you can uh, select. One of them is uh, like 40 minutes. Um, up this uh, to the right and then 40 minutes back or there's like a 20 minute walk up this way and we're a little uh, stretched on time so I think we're gonna go with uh, the 20 minutes okay we can take the the cool part but um, bonus info there are um, these towers along the way and when it was um, when it was complete there was about 40 of these um, but only 20 remains and also three fortresses Great Wall of Europe yeah. You can actually see the salt plains out there That's where they uh, produce salt all right, so we made it up to one of these uh, fortresses or towers. And you can see here there was a ooh, long way down. You can see all the holes for the sections, for all the floors. We made it to the top. That's awesome. Let's go up then. And down as well. Yeah. Ooh. That was a sprint. <laughs> Do 
We want to go down? Yeah. I was just contemplating the combination of semi-circular towers and square towers because normally they are from two different time periods but uh, this uh, fortress has a uh, bow so, uh, yeah. Fascinating! I don't think you can go down oh. It's like a gate Okay we could go that way, yeah, and then go round. I think we should do that. Yeah, there's time. Yeah. This place actually looks like a dream location for a medieval town. Uh, easy to defend because of the mountains and uh, walls, and rich, lush farmland where you can grow all your crops and you can feed all your animals and then access to the sea as well for commerce, trade, transportation. Brilliant. Our host, she told us that I think it was in 1996, there was a, an earthquake, a big earthquake here. Um, and a lot of the houses and the buildings um, took severe damage. And you can actually see a couple of the houses have been just completely abandoned. Why do you think they call it the Great Wall of Europe? Because it's not actually inland Croatia? I think it's because it's the biggest in Europe, in the continent of Europe. I, I think there is um, the Romans, they built some Britain, Hadrian's Wall, and it wasn't as, as long as this one. Maybe it's just because it's the the biggest wall in Europe. Biggest wall in Europe, and maybe also least known. I I didn't know about it no. until we uh, yeah until you, yesterday <laughs> until yesterday when you said we were going here. So. battery tower and they have these uh, platforms for cannons and you can see the aiming hole for the mouth of the barrel and then they could aim above it. Nasty. Not bad. Very light in uh, in the taste. So we got a, a starter from the restaurant, which is a fish pate, a bit of salad, and some toasted bread. It's not bad. And the fun thing is, you don't like fish, mm -hmm. and you don't like pate. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Apparently I do. <laughs> I wish you could smell this, but it's really good. It's uh, grilled pork chops and with some mango chutney and some grilled uh, vegetables and some fries. Um, 
And you got a chicken salad? It's been a super intense day. We've seen two really interesting places. We had a long drive to... Uh, to Bosnia and back. Yeah, through, <laughs> through this uh, new corridor. And I'm looking forward to a good meal, finishing my beer, just enjoying the company. And uh, I think we're off early to bed today. Uh -huh, thank and you. thank you. Thank you.